Hello again. Here is another sentence that I want to analyze applying the principles of the comprehensive grammar of the English language. Hence, another example of a traditional syntactic analysis. In this video, I'm going to analyze the sentence Mrs. Miller regrets that many of her good old friends who she grew up with have moved to London. And as usual, I will first of all look at the word classes, then at the phrasal categories. I will include a clausal analysis and will eventually define the sentence type. So let us assign the word classes first. Now our sentence contains several nouns. We have two names, Mrs. Miller and London, and we have a count noun, friends, and two pronouns, she and who. One of them is preceded by a complex determiner, many of her, which we could break down further, but to avoid debates about determiners, predeterminers, postdeterminers, and determiner phrases, we leave it as one unit here. Then we find two adjectives, good and old. Well, we will see what to do with them later. And four were verbs, where regrets and moved are standard verbs, and grew up is a verb which is called a phrasal verb, consisting of the verb itself and the particle up. Furthermore, our sentence contains two prepositions, with and to, and the complementizer that, as well as an auxiliary, have in have moved. Let us now group these simple categories into constituents and let's perform a phrasal analysis. As usual, I marked the lexical or open class categories in special colors because they will eventually be heads of particular phrases. Let us work out the phrasal categories in a hierarchical fashion this time. At the lowest level, we have four noun phrases. Mrs. Miller, London, who and she. And all noun phrases only consist of a head. They have neither any pre nor any post modification slot. The adjectival phrase, good old, is introduced by a modifying adjective and it exhibits the head on the right hand side. So old is the head and good is a modifier. On the next level, the adjectival phrase is nested within a noun phrase. And the noun phrase who now serves as the modifier of with, who and with. Thus, we have a prepositional phrase. In a prescriptive version, it should be with whom she grew up, in which case the prepositional phrase could be recognized more easily. Now we can look at the verb phrases. We have one verb phrase, grew up with whom, which is one, and we have the verb phrase have moved to London with the auxiliary verb as a pre-modifier and to London as a post-modifier. On the highest level we have another verb phrase with regrets as the head and everything that follows as a modifier. So we have several nested phrasal categories. Let us now analyze the clausal structure of our sentence. The sentence has one main clause, which is Mrs. Miller regrets something, where something, that is the object of this main clause, is realized by an object that clause. So she regrets that many of her good old friends who she grew up with have moved to London. And within this subordinate object that clause, we have a second subordinate clause, namely who she grew up with, a relative clause. So, this is the result. It looks quite complicated. However, if you look at the sentence structure, well, we can say we have a complex 
sentence with two subordinate or embedded clauses. And the sentence type is a declarative sentence. So we have a complex declarative sentence. Well, that's it. It looks complicated, but once you've understood the principles, it's really simple. Well, and if you want to download this board content I've created here, create your free account on the Virtual Linguistics Campus, log into the VLC and visit the e-lecture library where you have access to all the videos and the board content in a freely accessible PDF format. Thanks for your attention and see you again.